Well, I think the whole story about uh, a boy who, uh, you know, just basically is devoted to this horse and a horse that, you know, is required to save the very farm that these people, you know, need to just survive. And the fact that this boy goes through what he goes through to rediscover Joey and what Joey goes through in bringing us uh, into France, into the German part of our story and into the British side of our story. The fact that Joey almost, in a very romantic way, brings the two sides together, if just for a, a moment. Well, I've never done an event like this before. I've done, I've done royal premieres, uh, you know, uh, for, the, for the Queen and the Queen Mother, and certainly for Diana and Charles. But this is my first time with, uh, you know, the the uh, you know the, the the Duke of and Duchess of uh, Cambridge. So I'm very excited about that. They represent an entire new era of uh, British royalty, and it's exciting to be part of it. And it really is needed to charity, and also their devotion to veterans. And that's something that we really have in common. You know, they're very devoted. They do a lot of work for veterans and veterans' families and the services owed to them. And uh, I've been doing the same kind of work in the States. It was uh, more challenging than casting the cast, the humans in this movie, because we had to look for horses that could basically res be responsive to the characters, to the story, and also to be able to be brave enough to emote their own feelings when they felt like it. But there's a lot of improvisation in War Horse, and a lot of that comes from the horses. I don't feel that War Horse is a war story per se, not like Private Ryan, not like Band of Brothers for television that Tom Hanks and I produced. It really is a story about connectivity, about the importance of how an animal can bring people together and bring the best out of people. And so I really think that there is a level of, uh, there's a romantic aspect of this story that we don't often talk about, uh, but for me it's more than just a war story.